Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Kappa coming back with another video here showing you guys how uh, I stream and record my gameplay. It's fairly easy. Uh, a lot of people have been asking why I bought this instead of buying like a capture card or whatever. The reason why I bought this is simply because it does all the processing and everything for you instead of the capture card where you have to have you know a lot of computer processing power and whatnot it's just easier so I got this thing off of eBay the hodgepodge I guess is how you say it high definition video recorder real simple easy to use you get your power button S video I believe these are just standard definition plugs here uh, on the back, it has, um, you know, opticals, IR blaster, which I don't use, USB cable to the computer, and your power wire. These top cables came with it, and they do go to the TV. This is the out, and then the bottom set is the the in from your source so it could be your DVR box or you know it could be your PlayStation Xbox or whatever it, you know it may be but you have to make sure if you buy it for say your PlayStation you have to buy these extra cables they're the YPBR standard looking plug on the PlayStation itself it's just the uh you know, regular one, not through the HDMI, still does 1080. I just keep it recording in 720. This is my gaming TV and computer screen, I guess. It's a Vizio 480Hz 3D LED TV. It's 47 inch. Alright, a couple of things you're going to want to know before you start is you're going to have to check your speed on your internet connection. Um, where I'm at, I'm on Roadrunner, which is supposed to be like 40 meg. Let's see. This is uh, obviously the closest server to where I live or whatever. So that's why it automatically picked it. Your download speed isn't going to matter too much. It's your upload speed as far as when you go to stream. Like for some reason, mine usually only pulls around like 5 megabytes per second, which is good enough, you know, to to stream it fine uh, you know if it's lower you're gonna have to end up changing your resolutions you might have to like cut back on your bit rate and everything the second thing you're gonna want to do is go to iOrbit.com slash game booster you're gonna want to download this free what it basically does is it shuts down everything that isn't needed to to operate the computer when you're trying to stream it makes everything so much better and then the third thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, xsplit.com uh, register download the free stream tool or whatever all right the fourth thing you're going to want to do is go into your control panel and the appearance and personalization now if you don't it's going to probably be your first time so what you're going to want to do is scroll down go to your Windows Classic theme, pick that, and then I just switched it to a uh, black background, and I actually saved that as my stream theme, I guess. So you select that, what it's going to do is take all the extra visuals out of the computer. You don't have to waste extra processing power on the, on the graphics and transparencies. I'm running an HP computer, Windows 7 Ultimate, 64 bit, 8 gigabytes of RAM. You know, it's a pretty decent computer I got here. And I still wouldn't want to have the Blackmagic capture card just because, in order to make that work, it's taking in HDMI, converting it to something that the computer can read, <clears throat> and then still having to try to stream it or whatnot. So you're still going to be running into problems with lag, I'm sure. Since I'm on a PlayStation 3, what you're going to need to do to set it up to be able to work with the HD PVR, 
turn it on scroll down to display settings video output uh, pick the component D terminal I make it play in 720 just because otherwise if I didn't it would record only in 1080 and then it's just such huge files that it's not even worth it and for YouTube and what I'm using it for 720 is perfect you know I mean I haven't had anybody complain that the video quality was shitty or anything so I'm thinking that it's it's okay <laughs> uh, so just pick 720p hit enter finish audio output settings now make sure you pick the audio input connector or SCART or SCAT whatever AV multi hit enter and that's it alright next what you're going to want to do is open up the game booster make sure you add the software for the HD PVR and the XSplit you can hit on configure but it usually sets it up pretty good to where it's automatically going to turn everything it doesn't need off click line total media extreme it's going to open up what you see for when you're capturing anything uh, I like to minimize it hit alt in the space bar at the same time and it'll bring up the size and then just hit left and down with the arrows and then just slide the mouse next you're going to want to open up XSplit it's going to be your same login information or screen area pick where you want the, where the game's playing choose that I have an overlay on mine you know with my logo or whatever uh, next you're gonna wanna go into edit channels or add channels you can pick you know from a popular selection of stream places you know click on Justin TV you stream whatever you're using these settings work good for me they might work good for other people, might not work good for other people. It's going to have to be something you test out and see how it is working. You're going to have to experiment with different resolutions. I like to always keep it 16 by 9 and usually an HD and one right under HD seems to work the best. I normally leave the X split on the other screen so that I can view it while I'm playing the game. I use Internet Explorer because it doesn't have any like extra add-on things. It's like pretty much uses no processing power or whatever to view. Sometimes I'll notice I'll have problems if I use Mozilla or something. This is just what it looks like from where I'm sitting as far as you know both screens being able to see Justin TV and everything. Alright, now what I would do is hit capture on the HodgePodge media software so it records my gameplay. Go over here. The broadcast might be hard to see. Click that. Hit the Justin TV. You'll see a pop up will come up here. Hit the broadcast to Ustream. Pop up came up again. You can see that there's a delay on the on the little screen on the bottom there. Sometimes on this little screen for the stream, you'll see it's lagging. 99% of the time, it's really not lagging. You can check it if you go onto another computer or have one of your friends check it for you from their house. Uh, you'll see it's really not lagging. But if you're going to have this screen up so you can view it, which I don't know, you really don't need to, make sure you have the mute on. Otherwise, it's going to send out double stream and echo. And that's basically it. You're all set to go, ready to play online, broadcasting and recording. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Sorry about the screen capture. For some reason, it, I must add it on a wrong setting. I think I covered everything. Please be sure to subscribe and follow me. Check me out on Twitch TV backslash Kappa McNasty. And uh, until next video, see you.